Do 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 do. I eat game. Yeah. Hey, partners, Mark here, and we are in St. Denis, and I'm going to show you how to unlock the gunsmith's secret room. Oh, yes, he has a secret room in the back here, and um, there's a couple things you need to do in order to get access to it. And once we get access to it, there is some interesting things going on in the background. Now, when you walk into the store, you can see in the back room, that is the door we want to gain access to. And um, initially, I just walked back there and he starts barking and saying, what are you doing back there? What are you doing? Hey, well, I couldn't get a prompt. And I thought that was kind of odd. And if that happens to you, where you don't get a prompt to knock on the door, come back over here and start looking through his catalog. Um, that's what I did. I just went through and I was looking at components and what he has to offer. Then I went back. And once I did all that, I got the prompt to knock on the door which is what we're looking for. There it is. So go ahead and knock on the door and there's a gentleman who's going to look through the slider and say Sorry, invitation only. But that's okay. If you look in the upper left hand corner now it says the hidden operation. Uh, we found it and now we can rob him and his little side business. So go ahead and we're going to walk up to the gunsmith. Uh, press the left trigger and then we're going to hit you don't have to squeeze both triggers but just hit R2 and so he's going to try and talk you out of it. But we want to tell him we know about the back room and we want access to it. And if you did knock, you should have access to pressing up on the D-pad to tell him about it. So you have to knock on that door and you have to have that cutscene happen. So he's going to try and talk you out of it and say nothing's going on there. But just keep pointing the gun at him and eventually he will w walk back here. So this is where it gets a little... You got to be careful with what you do here because we do not want to fire our gun or the sheriffs will be all over here So it's really important that we use our melee So when you have your gun out when you hit the circle button or the B button you cold cock and hit people and it knocks them out So it's really important you do that. We want to take everybody out as quickly as possible And to do that with the gun out just hit the circle or the B button like I'm gonna do right here And this other guy's gonna kind of freak out and so I just I just kept hitting him over and over. <laughs> I thought I thought it would knock him out, but I could knock him out. So uh, what I decided to do is grab the rope and hog tie him. And um, I just didn't want anybody to go and and tattle tell or anything. And this guy's already knocked out. And I thought maybe somebody might see him through the door. So I decided to move his body. So you might want to do that too. I don't know. I was able to do this without alerting any cops, without any anybody getting notified which is great um, because I, <laughs> I forgot to put on my mask again too I actually don't know if that would help in any way with the, the secret mission but um, I didn't I didn't wear a mask and everything was fine so you're gonna go up the stairs all the way up to the very top floor to the second door way in the back here let me go ahead and circle it for you that's the door we want to go now behind that door there is a guy with a gun again do not use your pistol do not make any noises use the circle button he's going to threaten you just walk up on him quickly hit the circle button and cold cock him and he should you should be able to knock him out these guys are going to freak out do not fire your guns and we're going to threaten them and so okay so there's more to this room yes there's money on the table and we want the money on the table we're breaking up this poker game but there's something else going on here so first things first you, you definitely want to go grab the money on the table. Um, and once we grab the money on the table, we're going to start threatening these guys because behind the guy standing up against the wall is a safe, and he's clearly trying to hide it from us. So we need to start threatening these guys so that they eventually give us access to the safe because the only guy who knows about who has the combination is the guy standing up in front of it. So we got 50 bucks there. So now let's go ahead and aim our weapon at the guys. And I had to do, uh, you can't just aim and threaten just one guy. There's the safe, by the way, you can see it right behind him. So you want to hit the circle or the B button and start threatening them with your gun out. And so the, the, uh, the option to threaten is going to gray out. You got to wait till they're done talking and then you hit it again and just keep threatening him, keep threatening him. Once I finally threatened the guy with the blue coat on, he finally said, he spoke up and said, you're going to get us killed. And he said, just shut up. And then 
threaten this guy again, and then you'll finally get access to the save. Now, there's not a ton of money in the safe, but it's still kind of cool to come up here, see this whole thing happen, and know you're not going to get in trouble because they're doing something illegally, too. So go ahead and grab the money, um, $16. I'm wondering if it's going to be the safe for you folks, too. Uh, why don't you leave a comment down below and um, let me know if you got the same amount, as, amount of money as I did. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. It does help me out quite a bit. Um, once you go ahead and search the room and grab everything. Don't forget there's a little bar over here on the side of the room. We're going to go ahead and go back there and feel free to search it. I, I feel like the, if you do it correctly, we got plenty of time. These guys are not going to go off running or tattletale. We tied everybody up down below or they're either knocked out. And um, you should have enough time to search through everything without the uh, sheriff coming. And then when you go through the store, it's up to you if you want to do it. I decided to go ahead and go for it, but um, I decided to steal the money out of the cash register. You have to use the, the lock breaker. You need to have that in your possession in order to gain access to this uh, cash register. But, you know, it's another 15, 20 bucks. Why not? These guys are breaking law anyway. And then you can also, if you want, you can go through and start taking ammo and other things and uh, you'll get a morality hit every time you do it, but it's up to you if you want to do it. Thanks again for checking out my video, guys. I do appreciate it. Hey, partners, Mark here, and we are in Strawberry, and I'm going to show you how to unlock the General Store's secret mission. Yes, yes. So let me go to the map here so you can see where it is. It's kind of right in the center of town there. And the owner has a... He's got a dirty little secret. He's been doing something naughty, and we're going to go... We're going to go take a look at it. So there's the general store. You can see what it looks like. It's kind of hard to miss because it's a pretty small town. But if you walk up, it's it's in the basement. So what we're going to do is walk through that little gap right there. And we're going to look in that window. Now there's a prompt that comes up. Um, it's in the lower right-hand corner. So you walk up here. There it is. Okay, so once you get that prompt, go ahead and press and hold the Y or the triangle button. And he'll go ahead and take a peek through that window to see what he's got going on in there. And this isn't like some of the other obscure missions. Um, this one has a little bit of a trick to it. So once you get that, you got to keep looking through the window. Once you get that little pop up there about the hidden operation, now you can rob the shop and talk to him about the side, his little side business. So we're going to roll. There's, there's a, two doors up here, but I'm going to show you which door to go into. Go ahead and skip this one. Keep walking up here. And it is that door right there. So right before we get in the door, don't forget to put your mask on. I keep forgetting to put my mask on. Um, this one I finally remembered to put my mask on. And um, even though it was just the bandana, half my face, I still got no alerts. Nothing happened with the with the, the sheriff or local law, which is great. Okay, so when we walk in, go ahead and squeeze L2, and then squeeze R2. Um, now you don't need to continue to squeeze both triggers, you just really need to keep L2 squeezed. And now that we peered through the window, see where it says Rob Basement at the bottom right, press up on the D-pad. You're gonna keep squeezing L2 and press up on the D-pad. And then that's gonna trigger it goes beyond the robbery, you know, of the cash register. But this is going to force him to open up the door here. And we're going to go down there and see what's going on. Now, he's not going to be completely truthful about this whole thing. So there's, there's one more thing we need to do when we get down there. Don't forget to like and subscribe, folks. It does help me out quite a bit. I uh, appreciate you checking out my video. I hope it's helpful. So go ahead and let's head down there. And you don't need to keep the gun on him. He's pretty much like locked into this mission and he's freaked out because he's doing something illegally anyway. So he's not going to call the sheriff. Now, if you look in the bottom right hand corner, so it says antagonize. Well, we're going to go ahead and hit the circle button. You can see it ain't much, really. And this is where we kind of threaten him some more. And now he's going to tell us where the money is. And that's what we're after. So you have to antagonize him in order to get access to this uh, hidden compartment. All right, so he's telling us it's a loose brick. 
over by the wall. So let's go ahead and head over there. And there's other goodies in the room too. Um, there's not much, but don't forget you can just like search the room and all that stuff if, if you like. Okay, so let's head over there. And it's up against this wall right there. It's that brick. And you look at the bottom right, we have the prompt to inspect. So go ahead and hit the Y or the triangle button and hold it. And it's not a ton of money, but 50 bucks is 50 bucks. 50 bucks will get you a, a few upgrades for a weapon if you want. And so go, go ahead and collect the rest of the goodies. And um, now it's up to you when you come out. Uh, I decided since I was, I was already <laughs> doing something bad, I might as well rob the cash register too, right? Why not? I mean, you could use the extra money, right? Um, so it's up to you if you want to do this. I went ahead and did it, and I because I, I think I kept my handkerchief on or the bandana. Got twenty bucks. Um, I took it off before I went out. And um, hey, partners, Mark here, and I am going to show you how to rob the Rhodes Gunsmith Shop. Um, it's actually kind of a secret mission. Um, there's <clears throat> you can you can just go rob the gun shop if you like, but there's a way to. He actually has a little side business, and um, he has a, a dirty secret. And if you can learn a little bit about that dirty secret, you can get access to a secret room. I'm going to show you how to do that. The first thing we do is right over here, and there's going to be this sketchy guy kind of standing along the side of the building. And uh, let's listen to this conversation a little bit. But you can clearly see he's talking to someone down there. Really strange. But we don't know much about him. He's just a stranger if you look at the bottom of the right screen. And he calls him Mr. Gray. Really kind of weird. But let's get off our horse and let's head over there and go see what's going on. Now as you approach it, if you look at the bottom screen, that's the grate where we want to go. Go ahead and walk right up to it. I've been trapped down here. And he's going to start talking to you. And um, he's going to start telling you that he's been kidnapped. There's some bad stuff going on with him. And um, once you complete talking to him, once you finish this whole dialogue, it's going to basically unlock this secret mission. And uh, up in, in the upper left-hand corner, once you receive that, where it says suspicious activity at the gun shop, you can now rob the shop's side business. That means that we can go in there and we can hold him up. So let's go ahead and slowly walk up there. We don't know anything. We don't want to look suspicious. And we're going to actually consider putting on a mask now. This is what I didn't do. I keep forgetting to put on my mask. But be sure you put on your mask right before you walk in so he doesn't know who you are. So cover that face. Now, when you approach him, you're going to squeeze the left trigger to bring up this dialogue. You're going to squeeze R2. And so you're going to have L2 and R2 both squeezed. Then you want to press up on the D-pad to rob the basement. That option is only available if you have talked to the guy down below. Otherwise, you're just going to be able to... It's just a regular robbery. So then you get this dialogue. He talks a little bit about, ah, there's nothing we're seeing down there which is totally, we know that's incorrect. And so just keep, so here I am, I'm walking with both L2 and R2 squeezed and I'm just keeping my reticle on him the entire time because I don't know if you take the reticle off if he actually is gonna pull a gun or anything, but I'm trying to keep things as quietly as possible. If you saw my other video where I robbed the doctor and Valentine, that went sideways so quickly. <laughs> I did a horrible job. So, I mean, what, what is going on here? What is this? What is this guy doing? So, I don't want to cause a commotion. So, I, I decided to hogtie the guy so to keep things quiet instead of shoot him um, or let him get away. And so, this guy starts telling me he's a maniac. He's not my father. I don't know what he's talking about. He's got him dressed up like a little boy. Very strange, very strange. But one of the real reasons why we're down here, I, I, yeah, I was trying to find something else and I couldn't. But the real reason why we're down here is because of the Lancaster Repeater, that gun. That's the main reason. That's the, that, that is the thing to get down here. It's an awesome repeater. So let's go ahead and grab it. 
and we it, nobody the the sheriff is not coming. Nobody knows what's going on. We got a red dot um, on our mini map because uh, we hogtied that guy. But don't forget to loot him, because when you loot him, you're gonna get a little something that is actually kind of sad. It's his his son's drawing. So let's go ahead and open it up so you can see it. And it looks like a legit, I thought at first, I'm like, oh, he drew that. Like, this is really starting to get weird. But I think he actually, that is his son who drew that. And um, we don't know what's happened to his son. So this is all weird and sad and what is going on. I feel really bad for this guy. He's chained to the wall. I could leave. I could totally just leave. But I feel, I feel bad that he's shackled up. Um, so it's up to you if you want to, if you want to. Um, shoot the chains and let him go or leave him but I, f I felt kind of guilty um, so I decided to pull the rifle out and uh, it's kind of weird because I was trying to pull L2 so I can aim the gun but it kept focusing on him so you kind of just have to I just grabbed my gun took it out and I'm, you can see me it's trying to focus on him so I just like squeezed R2 instead of L2 at all Aimed at the chain and just shot it. And then I decided to get out of there. So I'm like, yes! Yes, let's get out of here. Nobody, like, there's there's no sheriff. And so you, if you want to get out of here, you should run through that door and get on your horse. That's what you should do. But I saw the cash register. I was about to leave and I went, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. I can get some cash. And wait, I'm in a, I'm in a gun shop. Like, I can get a bunch of cool ammo. And... I got really greedy, and you know what? You can do this too if you want, but I kind of wish I would not have done it. Um, and look, I'm so, I'm so dumb. I didn't even put a mask on. <laughs> I'm so not good at video games. So I um, <laughs> so I robbed the cash um, the cash register, and I started grabbing ammo. And look at this. There's um, high velocity cartridges. Yes, please. And uh, and so I'm getting morality hits. And then look, there we are. Wanted. Crime reported. Investigating. And it's Arthur Morgan. Why? How do they know it's me? Because I didn't wear a mask. So don't forget to wear your mask. And now I'm getting stuck underneath what is going on. But I managed to get away. Um, I'm going to have a bounty. But that's all right. It was a lot of fun. Don't forget to like and subscribe, folks. It does help me out quite a bit. I do appreciate it. Um, I hope you're having fun with the game. Hey partners, Mark here, and today we're going to be talking about robbing the Valentine's doctor. Turns out the guy's a little shady, he's got a little side business going on. I'm going to show you how to infiltrate that and how to make some money doing it. Now, first thing we need to do is find a good getaway spot. Go ahead and hit your horse here at this spot because we're going to be running out the front door. That's the only door out of that place. Um, so hit your horse right there and be sure you have chewing tobacco and a fast rifle like a repeater or something like that. Um, I tried to find some place in the back at first and I couldn't find a good place to hitch the horse or I thought about a carriage, but carriages are kind of too slow. So go ahead and hitch up front. Now this door in the back, that is actually, we're gonna be interacting with that door, but you cannot leave, you can't exit that door. And this little building here is where the shady little business is happening. Um, turns out he's dealing with the O'Driscolls. So that window is going to start us on our mission. You can go, you can go rob him, but you kind of need to interact with the window first in order to infiltrate the business in the back. You have to have the knowledge of what's going on. So go ahead and press L2 when you get up to this window. You can see in the bottom right hand corner it says look. And that is an O'Driscoll there counting money, doing something kind of shady. What is the doctor doing at, act, interacting with those O'Driscolls? Well, we're going to go find out. Actually, no, we're not going to go find out. We're going to go tell him we know about it. Um, so if you look in the upper left-hand corner, you could say, well, you have found a hidden operation. And so now you can rob the shop's side business. And that's what we intend to do. So go ahead and after that, the second step is come over here and knock on this door. You can see in the bottom right there, wait for that to pop up. And if you have subtitles turned on, subtitles with names... You can see it's an O'Driscoll right there. Yep. Okay, so now that we have that knowledge, we're going to go up to the front, and we're actually going to go rob. Well, we're not going to rob. We're going to hold him up. Um, you definitely don't want to shoot him. You don't want to do anything but aim your gun at him and threaten him. 
So let's work our way around to the front door here. Don't bump into anybody. We don't want to make anything weird or uncomfortable. Now, once you get in, this is the point where you want to put your mask on, which I didn't do. This is not the correct way to do it. <laughs> so put your mask on. And if you look in the right where it says aim weapon, you're going to squeeze R2 so that we can hold him up. But don't shoot him. Because if you shoot him, everything's going to go downhill. Because we need him to open the door in the back. So go ahead and aim your weapon at him. And so we're going to go through some dialogue here. But just be sure you keep your reticle on him. Even though he's going to say, oh, you don't want to get involved with him. Yeah, we do. We want to get involved with him. Um, we want to take them out. And we want the money and the other goodies. There's a good uh, pistol back here. And we want that pistol. So... Yeah, a little late there, Mark. <laughs> All right, so at this point, let's uh, let's go ahead and listen to the conversation, and then I'm going to stop it for a second. Right, O'Driscoll number two. Yep. So it's your choice here if you want to kill him or not. I didn't. I think maybe I probably should have. So if you want to do a quieter approach, you can. You can use knives here, take him out, and then take out the other guys. That'll buy you a little more time, but you can go in guns blazing like me which didn't work for me, but I think you can make that work. And then there's the nuke option. Throw some dynamite back there and blow everybody up. Um, I think the dynamite's probably <laughs> the most fun and it's actually the fastest way to do it. But either way, you're going to have to get through here and you're going to have to do it quickly. I'm going to show you how to do this quickly. Okay, so we got a lot going on here. I'm going to pause this. So we have one, two, three, four people we need to take out. Now, if... Uh, this is where we need Deadeye, right, to take these guys out. Also, we need the money. To, we got to get the money that's on the table. And then there's a Schofield revolver that we want. So I'm going to go ahead and let this roll. Um, oh, by the way, yeah, there's a chest back here. Ignore the chest. If you want, if you feel like you have enough time to get it, get the chest. But I, I don't think there's any money in that chest. I think it's actually just some goodies. Now, I didn't grab my repeater. I totally botched this. Look how awful I am at this game. I figured it'd be fun, though, to use this as the example. Um, you can see how awful I am at shooting these guys. Oh, my God. Now, pay attention to the upper right-hand corner. Um, it's hard to when this is all going down. But because of the gunshots, they're already investigating. So the clock is ticking. Um, and so they're going to, but they don't know who has done it yet. I almost died by the way here. Look at this. I have very, very little health left. It's a good thing she had to reload her gun. Man, I am so bad at this game. Uh, to my credit though, this is the very first time I did this and I didn't know anything about it. Now there's the, uh, Schofield. We're going to pick that up. And if you do everything properly, I think you can get in and out of here very quickly without getting in trouble. Now pay attention to, because of all the bodies, it's kind of screws things up. I actually ended up picking up a body when I was trying to get that money because I'm was in i I'm in the wrong spot. And you can see in the bottom left-hand corner, they're investigating. These, they are coming. And so I'm confident that if you follow my guide here, you come in, take out those guys, grab the money, grab the school field revolver, and run. Hitch on your horse. You can get out of here with a, just a little bounty. But you got to stand right there to pick up the money. You can't be on the other side of the table. So there's the chest. I say ignore it. Um, you cannot get out this door. I was trying to. I was trying to find if there was a way to sort of move that um, that bar across, and I'm just blowing time. Look, if you look in the the radar, they are coming for me. I mean, I am not screwed, but I'm in trouble. So one of the things I could have done, I could hide over here behind the wall because they still haven't. It's an unknown spec suspect. They don't know it's me yet. Um, and right here is when they discovered me. But one thing I could have done is I could hit around that corner with a knife or even just a pistol and taken him out. But it, it doesn't really matter at this point. So if you run, 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 if I had hitched my horse right there properly, I could have gotten on the horse and run. Look, my bounty is only $6.50 at that point. That's totally fine. And it's worth it for the money that we're getting and for uh, the pistol. But my horse isn't there anymore where I left him. Um, he, he totally took off and left me. <laughs> and so I was in trouble. Don't forget to like, and subscribe guys. It does help me out quite a bit. It helps me continue to make these videos. Um, I'm going to let this run so you can see the bounty tick up and how much it's, it costs me. Um, I'm just running and running and running and it's kind of hilarious and, um, you can see the outcome. Thanks guys for checking out my video. I appreciate it. Hopefully this has been helpful for you.